Hey guys, welcome to Yoga with Coops. We are at day seven of our yoga strike a pose challenge. We're a third of the way through. I hope you have been using the challenges as your time to connect with yourself on the mat and maybe adding your own little bit of spice into the practice and finding your inner confidence on your mat. That is, that is amazing if you are. If you're still at those early stages where you're like, what the flip am I doing? Don't worry, we've got loads more practices to go through, plus at the end of the challenge there's a couple of flows. If you want to add more flow in, look at some of my other YouTube clips for encouragement, or drop me an email and I'll send you some more links. So, today is all about Warrior 3, okay? Warrior 3 is a balance, and balances can sometimes be super hard because our mind is filled with clutter, and when we start to lift one foot off the mat, we can fall down, okay? If you haven't got your big toes, this might be super hard, okay, so use the wall. And at any point, even if you have got big toes, your big, your big toes, and you just want to help, use the wall, okay, or use someone else to hold on to. So balances don't have to be about being on your own and being unsupported. Warrior 3 is super powerful for your body. And so let's start at Tadasana, our mountain pose. The first foundation of our house is this mountain. So take this time to check in with your mountain, with your breath, with your emotions, and with your mind. What's going on in your mountain today? Just bring the hands towards the heart. And let's take a moment to feel that connection with the heartbeats and be super grateful for what our anatomy does. Nice big breath in through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale. And slowly release the hands down. Wiggle the feet hip width apart. And then start to just gently rock onto your toes, lifting the heels and feeling the balance and then onto the heels, lifting the toes and just practicing that a few times and start to bring the arms into it, lifting up and working on your balance. So you'll start to feel maybe wobbly. If you're feeling wobbly, Start to breathe the tummy in towards the spine. So pull it in towards the spine. And then your thighs, let's start to work them. So squeeze the bones, squeeze the muscles to the bones. Squeeze the thighs in. Great, find some length in the spine. And this balance. Awesome. I'm going to slowly lower down the hands to the mat. Grab the block here as your support or your book. Wiggle those sit bones back a little bit. Great. Take your right leg and bend into it. Bend into the knee. Okay, and just practice what that feels like, lifting your leg and shoot it back. And find that you're shooting it back, your hips are in line. So not in line is gonna look a little bit like this. Bringing that hip down in line with your opposite hip. Great, bending into the knee, inhale, exhale, shooting it out. So this is essentially prepping your warrior three, helping you with your balance. Find length in the spine, bring the foot down, wiggle into the feet, and take Tadasana, two big breaths, inhale, open the mouth, exhale. One more, inhale, and exhale. And slowly release the hands back down. Ready to peel the opposite foot up and shoot it back. Shoot the heel to the back of the mat and start to engage your core. So breathe the belly button in. You'll notice your chest will start to lift. And squeeze your right glute in. Bend into the knee. And exhale. Knee inhaling. Start to bring it back down. We're going to those hips and slowly rise up. And so taking our warrior three 
Let's start from Tadasana, bring the palms together. And take in a nice big breath in. Exhale. Ground into your right foot, so glue it in. We're going to start to peel the left foot off the mat, bending into the left knee. Squeeze into your right glute to make it nice and strong and take the gaze forward. As you do, you're tilting your body and slowly taking the gaze forward. Start to extend out that left leg, stretch it out, make it strong. Open up the arms if that feels right for you. But holding it there, loosen the gaze down. And then slowly bring it in. Let's try it on the other side. Okay, go through this as many times as you want. So lift up the arms this time, shoot them up. Lift into the opposite knee and shoot the foot back. Let the gaze tilt forward and then the spine starts to lengthen. Chest comes down halfway. Glue the big toe in, lengthen the spine. And then slowly release back. Let's practice a few what they look like. Sometimes when you're getting into them, it can look like this. Keeping your right knee bent, supporting knee bent, and just finding that you lift back and you're finding your flight. If you're here, stay there for a minute, then work, oh, not a minute, for a second, and then work on lengthening the leg out, okay? Finding the length and bringing it back in, okay? Or taking it from holding the block, Stretching the leg out, and then finding your lift up. Taking a few breaths, wiggle into the knees. And with the arms, there's lots of ways that you can practice your, your arms in warrior three. And so the arms can stretch all the way out in front of us. can come towards the sides or they can come behind rolling the shoulder blades together gaze up and bring the foot back in taking a breather you can also try the warrior three from down low bring the hands down bend into the right knee and just practice lifting the leg back up hold in there bend into the knee and find your flight here and then bringing it back down straightening the legs to so training the, the body or another option is to use the wall to push the hands into the wall and walk so your arms are nice and straight and lift the knee up bring it out in front of you and start to shoot it back okay and hold on to the wall for the support with your fingers tilt the hips in line with each other and bring it back or another option is to actually Put your back onto a wall, don't know if you can see me there, back onto the wall and find that you're just lifting your leg up, finding a balance first of all. I don't know what that feels like before you turn and find your flight. Finding that stretch, back in. You'll feel your lower back muscles working as well as your hips. So please enjoy Warrior 3. I'm going to see you next week for day 8 of our Strike of Hose Challenge. See you later guys. Big love.